Hello and welcome to the channel. In tonight's or this evening's video, I am in the garden. I am cleaning out the garden. I've been in the garden for a little while and I want to show you what I'm getting up to. So if you'd like to see what I'm getting up to today, stay tuned. So today I have been refreshing some potted plants, refreshing the soil. I've been breaking up some potted plants and getting them put in new pots and creating new plants. But I'm also taking the compost that I had in the house, the food waste, and putting it in the compost. So today I am in my compost area. I've been cutting back different parts of the garden, getting it cleaned up, cleaned out, and ready for me to sow the last bit of my fall seed. So I'm gonna take you into my compost area today now I'm going to show you, just in case you're new to my channel or you haven't seen any of my composting videos, how I create compost in a small area in my backyard. Now, before I do that, I know that not everybody has the desire or the ability to create compost. I started my compost bin when I lived in a rented house. So my compost days are in the back of my garden in trash cans. If you have a desire to create compost and you have a rented place that you're living in you don't have a lot of space if you have space for a trash can or a five gallon bucket you too can create compost so without further ado let's go to my compost area and let's get together and make some compost this is my compost area not the toilet that's a planter for annual flowers i've already cut the annual flowers down put some annual fall annual seeds in there so it's not the toilet but I've been pulling things out of the garden as you can see I left some sweet potato vines up there this first can right here I already started a second batch of compost and it is breaking down nicely but I've been gathering some items from my home and from a family member's home and so I need to get this compost bin resituated because it is full but it is not how it needs to be. So let me show you what I'm going to do with that bucket and that bag on the ground and that stuff up there because it's time to fix my compost. As I mentioned in this first trash can right here where I have my bucket on top, this is compost that I started a couple of months ago. Um, I want to say earlier in the month of September and it's been breaking down nicely. So I want to look and see what's going on in here. I may need to use some of this in the new compost bin. And I cover my compost with just a plastic bag to keep, uh, keep it moist, to try to keep it moist. And let me show you what I have going on in here. So come on, let's take a look. This is what the compost bin looks like. I've been adding composted material on the compost bin. So up under there is compost that's ready. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull out this unused unbroken down compost and i'm going to pull out the unbroken down compost and pull out the usable compost that's on the bottom get it in some containers and get it ready to spread because i need to start another compost bin i've got a lot of material so let's let me move this and i'll show you what it looks like had a lot more compost in the trash can than I thought I did. I've already dumped out two teal buckets into a container in the cattle panel that needed a significant amount of soil, so I added that. So now I have one teal bucket, I have one five gallon bucket, and I've got some broken down, partially broken down compost in, uh, well, on the ground right there. So what I'm gonna do is in this bag I have some paper towel and toilet paper rolls to include some shredded paper. I have food waste and I have all the materials that I pulled out of this compost bin right here and I do apologize for my shadow 
it is hot, the sun is coming down. So I am gonna layer the browns and greens into both compost bays. Now this compost bay also has uh, browns and greens at the bottom, but it has a lot of the green matter that I put out of the garden over the past couple days it, on the top. So I need to layer that as well. I'm also gonna be using some of this comfrey to ignite and jumpstart the compost. So let's get very started. bright out. So you all probably cannot see much of what is going on today. And I do apologize for that, but my compost area is tucked off in the corner. And because the sun is going down, it's going down right overhead or in the corner over here, you can see my shadow pointing. It's coming down right over there behind the camera. So I'm in a, a bad location. So what I'm going to do is I have some paper towels over here that I took out of that compost. And I'm gonna put the paper towels in the bottom some paper towels and some paper towel rolls. I do use paper towels in my household and if they're not too terribly soiled with anything that's grease-like or that I cannot put in my compost bin, I recycle them by putting them in the compost. So I'm just going to cover the bottom with paper towels, shredded paper, paper rolls, um, bags paper bags and once i get it covered up i'm going to just take the green matter that i took out of here that's on the ground you all cannot see so let me show you i'm going to take this green matter and get it into the compost bin so what you're doing is you're layering your browns and your greens and this also has um, leaf matter leaf mold so that's also a brown so that goes on top I'm gonna try to break it up a little bit so that it's not condensed because it was condensed down if it begun to kind of like pack in on itself. Thought, I thought you all were with me but the Sun was beaming right on my phone and you all cut off at some point but all I'm doing is layering the browns and the greens all the paper matter and all the green waste and I've gotten to a point to where I've taken all of the green waste from off of the top of the trash can right there. I've moved my bucket to over here. I've opened up this trash can, as you can see. It is full of green waste on the top. So I'm going to put some brown in here and keep layering, and I'll be right back. I'm going to have to shut you guys off because the sun is beaming right down where I am. And it is um, shutting off my phone because it's making my phone too hot. I also I'll be right back. had some coffee in the shed and it began to get moist inside of the bucket. So I will be scooping coffee grounds that I got um, probably sometime last year. I'll need to acquire some more, but I'll also be scooping coffee grounds into the this compost. coffee bin. looks like sludge, Blech. but it is going to go in the bin. The bin doesn't care how it looks. Again, I apologize for my shadow, if you can see it. But one other thing you need to remember when you are layering your browns and your greens, you also need to make sure that you are adequately watering your compost. There is a fine balance between moist and excessive when it comes to water. This does need to be watered. It is 90 degrees here still. Our mornings are in the low, well, I say low to mid 60s. Our highs are in the 90s, so it's still very hot. So I want to make sure that this stays hot. And so I need to make sure that it has an adequate level of moisture. So I will also be watering. I purposely this. cleaned out my coffee bin. It is completely empty. I will need to acquire some more coffee grounds. But I have layered this container. I pulled everything out and I have layered this container. I've started two new compost bins. And so this is how you easily compost in an area. If you live in a suburban area or if you live in a rental property you can still create compost for your garden
But I want to thank you for joining me in the garden this evening. I hope you enjoyed today. So if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Share the video. Leave me a comment. And most of all, if you haven't hit that like button, hit that like button. Have a wonderful day. And I hope to see you either in my kitchen or my ever-growing food forest real soon. Bye for now.